Shalom. Kolayum wakabala Yahweh b'Hashem Yahushai b'Hashem Arachakurash. The bonus to the elder apostles of the great Musa who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect tabernacle of David, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And I guess I'll entitle this one. Pastor David Lynn actually teaches the MOTB correctly. Did he get it right? And uh, I got about maybe a little over five minutes in where he began to actually talk about it. And uh, the topic was, you know, what, you know, with these lockdowns that this government has been uh, imposing on, you know, the world, which we all know the real reason why, you know, is to, uh, you know, shift everything in the gear for their great reset. You know, to cause a great wealth transfer that was able to uh, pull the, the world's biggest heist in the history of, 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 of mankind. All right. And, uh, you know, it's a war on uh, the middle class. Shut out, you know, all the middle class and make sure that there is no in between. It's just uh, poor and uh, super rich. And the super rich want all control, all power over the masses of the people and they also want to help reduce the earth's population because that'll be a lot easier to pull if there's less people on earth so anyway you know as it is written we cannot be uh ignorant of Satan's devices all right but uh you know to my surprise you know this dude here you know uh pastor david lynn which you know, we've had encounters with this guy. I mean, having, you know, uh, I, I believe he's uh, ran into the Sakari camp a few times. You know, they had their little debates going on, and he even almost came close to, uh, you know, admitting that being a Hebrew Israelite, if I'm not mistaken, he did. All right, he almost came around. He almost been uh, converted. Now, I don't know what his stance is now or what he teaches now or if he's actually out there, you know, finally professing, you know, that he's an Israelite, all right, and that, you know, salvation is for Israel, that Christianity bull crap, <laughs> that's, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's off, all right, but, uh, I'm gonna play this clip so y'all can listen, and I'll let you hear, you know, what he actually, actually says about this, uh, agenda. Showing you that, you know, even some of these Christians even know what's going on. Even some of them got their eyes open, even though they don't have the full truth. So anyway, let's uh, listen a little bit. They can do anything to you at any time. Second thing is, is that they're setting the stage for uh, digital IDs and the mark of the beast, which means that there's going to be a global tracking. And, and this is not far-fetched because the technology is there. There's certain countries that are already using this technology. We've seen the United States. Yeah, and uh, re just recently, you had the, uh, the Fed chair, the, F the Federal Reserve chair, Jerome Powell, he came out and basically said that the U.S. digital dollar or U.S. CBDC can help maintain international primacy. All right. He was basically saying that it potentially will help maintain their international standing. And it's going to help shift, you know, in the next five to 10 years, the global financial uh, system, you know, and, and this is their way of basically saying that the MOTB is uh, imminent. All right. This is going to be digital based blockchain. Is why they're gonna do all they can to do away with paper money. All right, and more and more countries are going digital or developing that, uh, you know, digital currency system, and you have uh other countries that are exploring that option. Ninety percent of uh, the central banks, they all are going digital, so we already know that, you know, they're all rolling this out. So we're in that time, man. All right, uh, Habakkuk 2, verse 3. All right, the, the vision was yet for an appointed time, but at the end, 
it shall speak and it is speaking though it tarry away for it because it will surely come it will not tarry and we're supposed to constantly keep our eyes open stay upon our watch as it is written all right we know that this devil is coming with it and we and the warning has to go out if we don't warn our people then we will be held accountable all right, Proverbs 24 and 11. As long as you know this and you're not saying anything, the Lord, you know, he's uh he's watching you and he knows what you know. Proverbs 24 and 11, it says, If thou forbear to deliver them that are drawn unto death and those that are ready to be slain, if thou sayest, behold, we knew it not. Meaning, hey, we didn't, we didn't know. Do if not he that pondereth the heart consider it? The Lord knows, man. And he's going to hold you to it. And he that keepeth thy soul doeth not he know it. And shall not he render to every man according to his works. All right, and let's go to Ezekiel um, 33. Ezekiel 33 and some of these people in these other congregations, they scratching their heads because they see what's getting ready to happen. But they leaders still ain't saying nothing or playing like they stuck on stupid. And a lot of them more than likely did uh, take that payoff. They got compromised. So they can't speak on it even if they know it. Some of these dudes might uh, off they self, man. If, 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 if either that might happen or the, the Lord is going to, you know, preserve them and they pride so that the Lord can get them. Now, this is uh, Ezekiel. 33 and let me see uh let me let me jump up Yeah, Ezekiel 33 and 7, it says, So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou doest not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. And, uh, and if, you know, because taking on this man's... uh you know, system, you know, uh, going to the, to, to the, to the man, going to uh, Egypt for help. And you, know, you trust in this man's system and you still, uh, you know, you're voting, um, you know, and, and then eventually, you know, with, with Esau, uh, shifting, you know, this, uh, system into a digital, uh, system, as soon as you follow this man and, and, you that are responsible fail to warn Jake to not follow that way and to actually deny yourself, all right, be willing to lose your life. The Lord's going to take you out as well as those Israelites that you fail to warn. Because they're going to follow this beast. They're going to wander, like it says in Revelation, they wandered after the beast. You know? Worship in his image and then eventually taking his uh his karagma if thou doest not speak to warn the wicked from his way that wicked man shall die in his iniquity but his blood will i require at thine hand nevertheless if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it if he do not turn from his way he shall die in his iniquity but thou hast delivered thy soul all right and when it comes to this particular prophecy, man, we're we're definitely blameless. That's that's one of the main things we always talk about. One of the major prophecies, man. The MOTB. You also got other things. You got uh, you know, the third woe that's coming quickly. You know, Russia positioning themselves for a war with NATO over Ukraine right now. And I think uh I seen uh I forget the name of that channel, but he always doing constant updates on what's going on over there. And he said that the Russians attacked 57 Ukrainian generals. So something big and major is getting ready to uh, go down. 
And then, you know, while that's going on, you got Biden talking about we need money for the next pandemic. There's another one that's coming. So, you know, all hell is going to break loose. You're already in the midst of all right, a, a food shortage and they're killing off all your food supply right now. So it's looking likely that, you know, we're we're definitely coming into that time of Jacob's trouble. All right. So now we got to start bracing ourselves. All right. So all these things a true watchman will be warning you about. And if they're silent and they just kicking with their feet up, like it says in uh who was it? Uh I think it might be in Amos, which says, uh, I will search no, no, uh Zechariah, I will search Jerusalem with candles. All right, and and you know, those who are uh settled on their lease, you know, the Lord's gonna expose you, man. So anyway, let me uh let me go back to the video and let it play some more because he's getting ready to tell you what, what it is. All right, which you know, either the most eyes opening their eyes to it, or they probably watching uh the prophets. I know David Lynn watches us, man. He he watches the Israelites. He's had uh, run-ins with Israelites. Let's uh hear some more. States, they already created a chip that apparently now um, they're thinking of putting out that can trace if you have COVID-19. So now all you need to do is walk through the scanner in your hand. Exactly what the Bible says. Unless you have that mark in your hand or in your forehead, you cannot buy or sell. Yep. Did he, did he get that right or wrong? You, yeah, you be the judge, but that's what the, he said. It's, that's what the Bible says, and that is exactly what the Bible says. Let's go right to it. Revelation 13. And I'm going to start at verse uh, 15. And this is talking about the beast who would have all this authority over the world. All right. He would, um, he would arise uh, like a lamb having two, two horns and speak as a dragon, meaning he's going to speak with a, a authority to, to bring forth harsh uh, tyrannical uh, measures and, and legislations and laws, which one of those being that eventually he will um, make the MOTB mandatory. Well, you will have to get that implant into your body and you won't have access to anything in society if you don't have it. That's the type of control that he has right now. And if you all against, if you speak up against it, you know, you're um, an enemy combatant, you're an insurgent, you're a potential terrorist, and they got to keep their eyes on you, and eventually you will be persecuted and separated. You will be cut off uh, from the world. All right? Revelation 13, 15, it says, and he had power to give life to the image of the beast, and that's the system that's uh, being constructed before your very eyes. All right, now we know that it's modeled after the first uh, beast, which is uh, Rome. All right, the whole uh, structure of ancient Rome is the same setup today. But now there's more power put behind it and it's more technological. They now have a, a technocracy to take charge for their government where everything is going to be ruled by AI under the beast's algorithm. And everybody got to basically uh, bow to it and accept it. All right. It says that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Now, eventually, they're going to want to seek your life. But before that, they want to uh, separate you first. You know, cut you off from from, you know, the world. You can't eat. You can't uh, go into no restaurant. You can't go into no gym and work out. You can't go to no game. You can't go to no festival. No concert. This is why they want to make everything uh, digital and electric, like this whole um, solar energy. It, it goes right in sync with the, uh, the this whole digital uh, system. All right? It's all interconnected, man. It's all for control. 
when 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 they start pushing those uh electric vehicles, you're gonna have to more than likely use a uh, um a, a CHIP for it. And your system will your your your, your every, all the information about you will be right then and there. And it will be determined if you qualify for even driving the vehicle. If you they basically they will have to give you permission. Do you have enough social credit points to be able to operate the vehicle? That's that's the type of system that they are 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 setting up, man. All right. So that's how a lot of us that know that this is of of Satan is gonna be uh separated from it. All right, and uh, I remember Elder Yasha Wamba looked into that word uh, "kills," because yeah, it does mean that you know putting, causing you to be put to death. But also look at the what the root word says too. Is it this word? Apoctino, to kill in in any way, whatever, to destroy, to allow, to perish. It says uh, to extinguish, abolish, to inflict mortal death, to deprive of spiritual life, and procure eternal misery in hell. You know, in which the Lord He told us, you know, fear not. You know, basically, don't fear man who can only destroy the body. All right, but rather fear Him that can destroy both body and soul in 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 hell. All right. So, you know, death ain't going to move us in this moment. And the Lord said, I will, um, was that Revelation 3 and 10? Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which is going to try every, everybody else that dwells on the face of the earth. But now you go to the root word. And the word is uh, apo or apa. And it means of separation. Of local separation, the verbs of motion from a place, i.e., of departing, of fleeing, a separation of a part from the whole. You know, Esau got his list. He knows who's going to cooperate, you know, with his agenda versus those who are against it. And you better believe the Hebrew Israelites are definitely a part of that, whereof a whole wholesome part is taken of any common separation. Of one thing from another by which the union or fellowship of the two is destroyed. All right. And we have no fellowship with this world because we're not of this world. And that's why we're not to be attached to anything associated with this world. Love not the world, neither the things that are of the world. If you're of this world, well, Satan will have an advantage. All right. And, and you will fold and you will fall into that condemnation. All right. So going back. Verse 16, it says, and he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, the karagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. Or is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six, which there's numerous breakdowns on this whole thing. All right. But this is definitely right here in the scriptures. And at least he knows, which is a damn shame. Other Israelites that are in the circumcision, they still can't get it. Which either, you know, the, the Lord still got them blind or they're blind because the money. They're blinded by that bag that they took. All right. And that shows you that these a lot of these dudes do not have any integrity at all. Is that Psalms 26 and 10? Because we know the judgment for it, man. Not only is you going to cause those that's following you to eat missiles, you're going to eat a missile, several missiles, man. And then you're going to come back ashamed. Psalms 26 and 10, it says, and whose hand, let me start up a verse. Psalms 26 and 9, it says, Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men. Now, you're a bloody man if you refuse to warn our people about what this devil is doing. All right? Because we're in a time where this man of sin 
All right, the son of perdition is being revealed. He's being exposed left and right, even by his own. It, even his own tongue is giving up himself. Uh, these, these are all the type of things that we see ahead of us. And certain dudes are still uh, quiet, still silent. You might be silent because you took that, that purse, took the bag. And that's blood money, man. It says in whose hands is mischief and their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity, redeem me and be merciful unto me. And the law tells you not to uh, take a gift. Exodus 23 verse 8. And thou shalt take no gift, for the gift blindeth the wise and perverteth the words of the righteous. Read that in the uh, the NLT. It says, "Take no bribes, for a bribe makes you ignore something that you clearly see." All right, and you seeing all these different uh, uh, updates. You seeing all these new apps. That, you know, Apple and Amazon and all these different, uh, you know, companies, you know, they're, they're, and it's all to condition you towards the Karagma. All right, Amazon, go Amazon, pay, all right, uh, Wallet More, all these different, you know, new devices. And you see it, but, you, but you're still ignoring it, still playing uh, stupid. The Lord going to get you, man. You don't cut that shit out, man. The Lord's going to get you. Or it's too late because you know what you did. It says a bribe makes even a righteous person twist the truth. It's Isaiah 56. In verse 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, laying down. Loving to slumber. Yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are greedy shepherds that cannot understand. That's why the Lord calls them hirelings. Because they care not for the sheep. They only care for their pockets. They all look to their own way. Every one for his gain from his quarter. All right. Can't afford to be ignorant in this day and time, man. Be not ignorant in a small matter nor a, a, a great. All right. And then the scriptures say in uh, Isaiah 29 that we will see out of obscurity. Isaiah 29, 18, it says, In that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. All right. And we have the light, we have the truth, and we can see everything. The Lord gave us that eye solve. All right. So we 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 see everything. Ain't nothing finna uh, bypass our eyes. All right. Blessed is, is your eyes that see and your ears that hear. So I'll see what he say. You know, I'm, I'll let it play a, a little bit more. But so far, sound like he got it right. So when they're talking about this COVID-19 being... Oh, let me let me pause it. Let me let me stop right there. Because, you know, knowing how, how they work, if I play something like this, I can get striked, even though this video been up over a year now. <laughs> you know, they don't mess with these other, uh, you know, groups and podcasts that talk about this. But as soon as we talk about it, you know, we jeopardizing our channel. So, you know, if he's getting ready to say what I think he might get ready to say, I'm just going to pause it right here and just cut it short. But, uh, hey, you know, based on what he said, it seemed to me like he's teaching that the MOTV, the Karagma, is the CHIP. All right. So, hey, is uh, Pastor David Lynn, did he get the MOTB uh, right? Hey, you know, y'all be the judge. I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to y'all. Bashim Yahweh Shai. Until the next lesson, Shalom.